Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how you can work out the angle between two lines, say L1 and L2, when you're given their equations. Now that angle would be, say if we drew this diagram, would be this angle in here, let's call it theta say. So how do we work that angle out? Well if we just step backwards for a moment and look at the lines L1 and L2, these column vectors at the beginning here represent the position vectors of two known points on each of the respective lines. So, in other words, you've got something like this. We know that minus 1 for minus 5 is a point on the line L1 with position vector minus 1 for minus 5. And a similar thing happens for 5 minus 3, 6. It's a fixed point on L2 and we've got its position vector here. So the angle between the two lines has nothing to do with the angle between these two vectors. The angle, theta, has something to do with these two vectors. Now remember that these two vectors give a vector that is in the direction of the lines. So when we look at the vector 1, 2, 3, let's just put it on. There it is there, OK? and the vector 2, 5, minus 1, they are two vectors in the directions of the line. They're parallel to the line. So when it comes to working out angle theta, what we can do is this. We can take, say, the blue vector and imagine it translated to there. We can also take the red vector and translate it over to there. So you can see that the angle theta is the angle between the two direction vectors. Now in an earlier tutorial I showed you that if you want to work out an angle between two vectors we use the scalar or dot product as some people know it as. And that was that cos theta equaled a dot b divided by the magnitude of these two vectors, the magnitude of the vector a and the magnitude of the vector b. Now if we take a and b as being then the two direction vectors, a dot b then is going to be 1, 2, 3 dotted with 2, 5, minus 1. Let's just write it in here. 1, 2, 3 dotted with the vector 2, 5, minus 1. And that's divided then by the magnitude of each of these vectors. And to get the magnitude of the vector 1, 2, 3, remember it's the root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So we've got that value and it's multiplied by the root of the magnitude of 2, 5, minus 1, which will be 2 squared plus 5 squared and here you can put plus minus 1 in a bracket if you like or squared or you could just write 1 squared drop the minus. Now if we work this out should be familiar with the dot product here it's going to be 1 times 2 which is 2 plus 2 times 5 which is 10 plus 3 times minus 1 which is minus 3 and then we've got to divide it by and this comes to the square root of 14 and the other square root is the square root of 30. So if you do this on your calculator say you'll find you get 0 0.4391 and so on. And that's the value then of cos theta. So to get theta we need to take the inverse cos then of 0.4391 and so on. And if you do that, you'll end up with 63.9500 and so on, which when rounded, say, to one decimal place, that would be 64.0 degrees to 1 dp. All right? So that gives us then the angle between our two lines, L1 and L2 just by using the direction vectors. 
So, hope that gives you some idea now then how to handle questions like that.